This is the cutscene they ended up showing us yes. uh, on Twitter a couple days ago or something. I knew you were a smart one. Everyone thought that this deagle was like oversized, but it's actually the the golden, the, the annihilator or whatever. So well, there it is. Yeah, basically they put this guy, take this guy hostage or whatever, and turn it to a certain way that would basically end up making them crash at some point that would somehow affect, I guess, their intelligence at some point, somehow. It'll, it'll make them vulnerable intelligence-wise without that satellite, so... And this guy's eyes are wild. So these satellites fell all over the place. Some of them landed, you know, in, in between certain areas. Other ones ended up landing uh, into some buildings, towns, farmland, other shit. We got this guy. I forget what's his name. Sala is that his name? He's the one with the uh, Komodo dragon execution. You don't get the war we're fighting, do you? Stitch is capable of anything. Secure the site. Okay. Sat link. Recalibrate. Groundfall. Okay, so this is the whole new, uh, I guess, event that's going on in Warzone. It's called Groundfall. Fight and secure remnants of the crashed satellites. Satellite crash sites, Stitch and Jackal have orchestrated the grounding of satellites across Verdansk and Cold War locales. New fire team mode in the Warzone objective. New exclusive blueprint and rewards. This still says season three prestige, but all right. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeb. We're here with season four of uh, Warzone slash Black Ops Cold War. Uh, as you can see, everything's reset. We're back down to level one. We got all our tokens, got the battle pass and all that stuff. So uh, we're going to look through the battle pass here to see everything that we got. So we ended up getting this dude here. This is like the new main guy, Jackal or whatever. He looks super edgy. Again, I'm going to say he reminds me of the bulldozer dude that has the red mask. Uh, also another skin for Port Nova over here. I don't think that this skin really looks that different from her usual ones, but still looks pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, I'll just try to concentrate on the stuff that actually matters. Charms, no one really cares. Uh, monochrome, like an AK. So we got our first weapon in the battle pass that's our new weapon it's the mg82 full auto light machine gun highest fire rate in the class with improved aiming speed moderate recoil and damage with increased ammo capacity so the thing is just going to spray like crazy uh we don't know obviously we're not going to know exactly how strong they are between you know cold war and war zone until you know maybe a couple days or whatever so we can get the full stats and see how they settle into the meta and all that it's going to take a while got a new xm4 right here with caution and wet floor sign we got a qbz here as well it's got like a shark design on the side and on the top of it's got a fin and all that uh, and then we get our second new weapon here which is a c58 it's the new ar uh they were saying that it's kind of like like an ak it's a hard hitting slower fire rate it's high damage at close range with a slower fire rate fast bullet velocity and reliable recoil control with less ammo capacity we'll see however that goes you know it could be something like a, a scar ish i have a feeling i'm gonna actually like that but i'm looking forward to you know, you'll see we can flip somebody off crank job there's no way people don't run this. Uh, we got some cute little things. Squishy slimes. It's for a pistol. We got another skin here for uh, Adler. Fully souped up. You can't even tell it's Adler. Uh, we got Ancient Scarab. This is a KSP. It looks all right. I mean, it looks pretty cool. A Honeycomb. Assault Rifle Charlie. It's a Krig. Got some watches. Oversight. It's another skin for Park. Big fan of Park. Park is probably my favorite operator on the game, at least from Black Ops anyway. Got another FFAR here. It's like super red. Lifeguard one. Okay, yeah. Lots of beach related stuff and graffiti and other things like that. The Numbra Carbon and the Ancient Spear M82 sniper rifle. I mean, this looks really cool i just never use the m82 like ever pretty cool post-apocalyptic looking shotgun we got the high stakes lmg it's like a slot machine uh lmg that you know cranks and actually rolls so base is just kind of sitting here a couple kills it starts lighting up around the edges next one all the signs light up and then on the final one the slot machine actually turns on and starts rolling and stuff so if it actually like you know lands on anything or if there's any crazy sound effects or whatever and then we got something brand new that we haven't actually gotten yet in the game this is the first ultimate ultimate skin that we ended up getting ultra operator skin for jackal it's an iridescent skin ends up going from basically not very light up to uh, well very lit up so uh, i don't know how many people are actually going to end up using this thing considering how crazy and over the top it is but i could also see a ton of people running it since it is a tier 100 and it's super flashy and everything so uh we'll see the main thing that i was looking forward to though was using this the nail gun this is what I've been looking for. So the one interesting thing, I remember looking at the patch notes for this. I'm obviously not going to cover all the patch notes here, but on the patch notes, it says that in Warzone, it's actually considered an SMG and not special. So 
I don't really know exactly what's going to be happening with that. I guess it's just going to use SMG ammo as nails. Low firing power tool uses compressed air to launch fast moving projectiles, high damage at close range with fast handling speed. I need five eliminations with uh, different special weapons and 15 different completed matches. So I don't have a ton of time to do that since it's obviously, you know, it's midnight or whatever. So I'm going to go buy the bundle. The bundle actually has this puncture wound, which is, I mean pretty brutal looking. I'm gonna assume it probably has no attachments since it's, you know, a special weapon or whatever, so it's probably just gonna be base form, and we'll see how the challenges go. Switcheroo. Ooh. Celebratory smoke. So you can pull out a cigar and just hit it now. Dude, there's no way they're not gonna make one that's, like, with a joint or a blunt or something next. No way they don't. Yeah, so, all right, I need to get 300 kills, 50 headshots, 5 kill streaks 20 times, 50 slides, 50 detects, 50 point blanks. I mean, it's the typical SMG challenges, I guess. So, we got the gold version of it right here. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of blood and all that stuff, so, you know. Uh, the gold looks pretty good. Then we got the diamond, which actually has a little bit of blood on it still. And then we got the Dark Matter Ultra, which is kind of bloody Dark Matter Ultra. It looks kind of cool so i'm definitely gonna be going for this dark matter ultra nail gun so i'm gonna test it out and see how it is now i know that hijacked is here he can play some games but honestly if i want to make any progress i'm just gonna play nuketown it, it is what it is you really need to add a clear all button to this game still i, I don't know why there isn't I have the clear all button over there on other warfare or whatever they ended up adding that after months and months the hawks are about to eliminate this i know the hawks are about to eliminate the sixers don't remind me they literally blew like a 26 point lead i i don't even i actually i finally got my flavor in the mail i have ran out of it like a while ago and i haven't been able to drink any of it all right here's a nail gun it's uh i mean it obviously looks cool from the side and shit it's a nail gun but let's uh okay so we'll, we'll see how the time to kill is in core i think hardcore will be the way to go all right get that kill i'm pretty sure in hardcore one nail will kill people I'm running out of ammo so quickly. So, okay, you, you definitely can't kill a ton of people all at once. You're gonna have to, like, kill a couple people and then just, like, dip out and get the reload. The reload is nice and quick and easy, but you don't get a ton of ammo. I'm literally out of ammo already. Okay, I definitely need a uh, scavenger. All right, let's get rid of quartermaster, put on scavenger. I don't usually run scavenger because I'm usually just dying half the time anyway, but you run out super quick. And if I need to get, like, five kill streaks and all that shit too, uh... Oh, they added 120 hertz to PS5. That'll be a game changer. Console players, anyway. Sure, you're not gonna be getting, you know, the god tier rigs that are, you know, that got like fucking 8,000 FPS or whatever, but more hertz will never hurt. There's like a weird open bolt delay, too, whenever you fire it. I mean, the time to kill is surprisingly fast on it. I mean, look at the, how much damage it's doing. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I swear I feel like I'm just killing super fast. Now, the one issue with this is that you're definitely not going to be able to wall bang anything. You know, you're not going to have any bullet penetration with nails. It's, it's killing super fast. I actually kind of like it. It's kind of cute. Now, obviously, I don't think this thing is going to be meta unless it's absolutely overpowered in some stupid ass way in Warzone where it just like, I don't know, has some ridiculous headshot multiplier that would end up getting patched anyway. So there's no possible way that this thing is actually going to be good. It's got like no uh, magazine to it whatsoever. Even if the damage is good, it probably would only be good for maybe be one player oh yeah look at that over the distance though look look, look. It, it kind of it has like a little arc to it look watch it you can see him it fly right past him i mean look at this iron sight it's so i mean i know it's not meant to be a sight but it is <laughs> scavenger not working for me What's the problem? I mean, I wanna, it is a gun, but like, oh, uh, I, I can't get over how terrible the iron sights are. There's never gonna be any attachments I get for it. It's just my thing to go and unlock the shit that no one else wants to. I mean, look how much damage it does close range. It seems like it has like a crazy damage fall off or something. Yeah, really close range, it does a ton of damage. Apparently the uh, patch notes and everything, the patch that came out for this on Warzone is like really changing a whole lot. I don't know how much the meta is going to shift from that, but it it's seeming like it's big changes. Whoa. Hey, you can see the, uh, the bullet velocity right there. They're high velocity for nails. Yeah, 
actually nearly dropped 50 with it. I mean, we got to play the game with it. Oh, wait, I think I ran out of ammo, so I had to snipe. Of course, I get to play the game as soon as I put the nail gun away. God damn it. I want to try the nail gun in hardcore because it seems like... It I mean, it should just kill in one shot, right? I'm sure hijacked looks great, man, but I'm gonna stay with Nuketown. Oh, we got it to level five in that game. I haven't even used any double XP thing. Let me use like a 15 minute wolf. This actually looks really cool. He's got a good beard. I think it's a possibility that I I'm just gonna get mapped by everything since everyone's gonna be set up and... Hmm. Worst case scenario, I just go back in the core and just try to slide into people and shoot them with it because it does a ton of damage when I'm really close, it seems like. Boy, we're gonna get spawn trapped, aren't we? Oh no. Well, the good thing is it really is only one nail. It's also very true that that bullet velocity is, sorry, nail velocity? Uh, yeah, that is absolutely a factor here. You got me, man. I'm sorry, I I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for trying to do anything with a nail gun, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for disrupting. Very important that you get level 83 this season, I'm sure. If the bullet velocity is like this in Warzone, I don't even know what to give it, man. I, I really don't. Wait, 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 wait. I thought it was a little ridiculous that the trophy systems got rid of the bolts from the crossbow. I thought that was a little ridiculous. I didn't know that it would literally, quite literally, shoot nails out of the air. If that's the case, how doesn't it just shoot bullets out of the air then? Does it have to be a certain amount of velocity for it to not be affected by it? Or, or... I just don't get how a trophy system works, I guess. I, in the game or real life, I can actually technically get rid of their trophy systems by just shooting in the general direction and it'll actually start absorbing all of my nails and not any of our actual grenades. I mean, we lost very convincingly. Yeah, so uh, my plan is to basically just take the rest of the day to uh, finish out this nail gun, probably upload a video on the Dark Matter Ultra nail gun, and then figure out what I guess I'm gonna do with Warzone from that point. Uh, obviously the C-58 or whatever it's called, um, I'm gonna obviously have to try out those weapons as well. And then we got still the other weapons coming later in the season. New season's here, a whole bunch of new shit. Try whatever it is. I was excited most for the nail gun just because it's stupid and to be honest i mean it's hard to get really super excited for a lot of assault rifles and stuff so yeah still though of course the, the nail gun isn't very good